But one of the reasons why a lot of us maybe don't vote or will write in ourselves for president or whatever is because of the electoral college. We are the only country that has a system like it, and it's some bullshit. Bullshit. Okay. This came from the U.S. Constitution. Now, there's all sorts of justifications for this. The main sort of one that you kind of hear touted a lot is that it was to make it so that cities or states with large cities, they wouldn't have all of the power in voting in the president, that they wouldn't have the total um, uh, majority, uh, 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 you know, where you could have you know, um, rural states, states with more rural populations having more of a say, although they have less of a, a less of a population where they could have some sort of say. So the politics of, of the largely populated cities and states with large cities, um, their ideas and values and candidates wouldn't always be constantly represented. Now, you kind of look at Historically, you look at the popular vote it has not always been the vote of the electoral, electoral college, um, you know, um, but what, what this equates to is that the, um, you know, the votes within, you know, represent the number of, uh, so how many votes each state gets, right, counts for in electoral college is reflective of the number of representatives they have in the House, of, House and Senate. So larger states with larger populations count for more votes, and it's a, it's a winner-take-all. Like, you win California, or you don't. You win Texas, or you don't. And whoever, and whoever gets, you know, uh, I can't remember how many points it is, you know, based on the electoral college, whatever the fuck it is, 214 or 40 or whatever it is, you know, wins, wins, the, wins the vote, you know. But we're the only democratic country that uses this bullshit. Okay, and it's, you know, really, it really separates us from the process. It really takes us away from the process. The popular vote, I mean, you feel maybe, if that was a thing, you feel maybe like your vote counted. Even if you fucking lose every time. You're one of those dots. But like when your state, you know, electoral college votes wins, like how do you feel? Like, I don't know, fucking whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a weird, it separates us from the process. And it's one of the largest disincentives, I think, for a lot of people to vote because they feel like their state's going to go this way or that way. And especially if you're not a swing state, right? If you're not Ohio, Pennsylvania, or Florida. Because what happens during presidential elections is that you know, if you're pretty much a guaranteed blue or red state, no one's fucking with you. You don't get advertisements. The candidates don't come and chill. You know, you don't get no attention. Um, but if you live in a swing state, it's madness. Yo, I lived uh, in Florida. Um, what was it? The 2004 elections, I think. I can't, I can't remember. Um, but it was madness. I mean, madness. Like the amount of billboards and signs and just the amount of stuff everywhere compared to where I'd been in Connecticut or Maine and other places I'd been during those times. Well, you, you don't see much. You, know, you see stuff, but like, holy shit, it was, it was madness. So if you live in one of those states, you feel more important. You're a swing state. But if you're in like a, a certified blue or red state, you're like, meh, fuck it. I'll sleep, you know, sleep in today. So... In the chapter, they talk about disincentives to vote. Electoral college, probably the largest, right? The other thing is like the poll closing, the time and day and stuff. Like that shit's a crazy disincentive for people to vote. Um, the fact that it's not on a weekend, the fact that it's not on a holiday. Um, I mean, just think about it. What if like you voted on Black Friday even, right? Like most motherfuckers aren't working. You can vote, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, like, they, they can figure it out, like, or make a national holiday where we, where we get to vote. We all the day off, and it gives people um, a little bit more opportunity to vote. So it's, it's so much harder when you have to go to a place and stand in line in November, right? Like, okay, not a big deal maybe if you live in a warm state, but if you live in a cold-ass state and you got to stand outside for hours waiting to vote, especially now with motherfuckers with fucking coronas and shit, like... Like, what happened in Wisconsin? Oh, come on, yo. 
Anyways, that's, that's nasty. The registration process is also a major disincentive. The fact that you have to have uh, an ID of some sort and you have to register and like, I mean, even think about like, you know, um, in states like Oregon, even when it comes to like democratic primaries, right? Like I had to, um, I had to register as a Democrat so I can vote in a month, although my candidate Bernie dropped out um, or Elizabeth dropped out, you know, they, they dropped out. I'm still voting for them, um, in May, you, you, you know what I'm saying? But I had to, I had to change my party affiliation, uh, to democratic, you know, that's a disincentive. Cause you find out you're like, fuck, you know, you can't, I can't vote. Who am I voting for in the independent party? There's no candidate. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's a disincentive, the registration process that you have to register. It's, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass. And then also, like, the last thing is voter fatigue. Like I said at the beginning, holy shit balls. It's already, like, four years. Like, it, like, sh like wow. Like, good. Like, we're getting through the Trumpito times, but we're already back there to all the political bullshit all the bullshit, you know, and then you have, you know, you have other elections in between for governors and for bills and for uh, representatives and all this stuff, you know, and so it's every couple years or every year, you know, you fill on ballots and you, you just get burnt out, like it's a burnout city. So those are some of the disincentives to vote. There may be some other ones for you, and I'd love to hear like some of the things that kind of like make you not want to vote. But I love in Oregon, I love, love, love the mail-in ballots. I think, it's br I think it's brilliant. I think that's like the most convenient thing for people to do. I think it's, that's democratic. If you want to talk about democratic, you want to talk about voters having rights, you know, I think that's like one of the, the, like the ways to do it. Pers personally, going to a poll sucks. I hate it. I hate it. People with their stickers, I vote, you know, it's, that's cool, whatever, but like, here's my sticker I'm putting it in the mail. 